Hello everyone, you have Royce here and welcome to our channel Centiviria 101. So for this episode, we're going to feature another cultivar coming from the Trifichata species. And uh, we have already uploaded, I think this is the uh, 29th cultivar, just uh, coming from the Trifichata species alone. So all in all, I have, uh, I was able to upload I think I have uh, uploaded more than uh, 100 uh, centiviria uh, species uh, including cultivars and also hybrids. So just uh, with Trifichata cultivars alone, we are numbering closely at uh, 30 uh, cultivars that I have uh, uploaded on this channel. So hopefully I can keep on uploading uh, more of them i'm uh, i'm expediting the trifichatas because uh, some of the trifichatas in the garden right now are uh, getting sick so as much as possible i want to upload them or i want to record them uh, at their optimal stage so uh, hopefully uh, as well i can uh, double time in uh, creating the videos for trifichatas so i can move on to the other species uh, I'm thinking of doing uh, Centiviria cylindrica, uh, but I have uh, a lot of uh, Trifichatas that I uh, will be uh, still be uploading. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, just inserting the other species so that it would not uh, all be Trifichatas on the channel because uh, like I said before, if we're go, if I'm going to start um, recording uh, trifichadas, it would take me uh, almost forever to uh, record or upload all the trifichadas that I have, especially uh, individual species, not counting the uh, duplicate trifichadas that I have uh, been growing. So, going back to what I'm featuring right now, the name of this cultivar is uh, trifichada. Uh, moonshine uh, the species I'm sorry is Trifichata and the name of the cultivar is moonshine so uh, and as you can see it's named moonshine because of its very uh, light green coloring or I would call it uh, they are known as the pale green clones so they are the uh, lighter green uh, clones of Trifichatas uh, later on uh, you will see that uh, there is also a dark green clone of Trifichatas and we have several cultivars of them as well. So we're starting off with the, the very first uh, compact or wide leaf uh, Trifichatas, uh, Trifichata that uh, is part of the uh, pale green clone. So these are wide leaf. Um, Later on, we'll measure how wide the leaves are, but as for now, I can say that they match the, si the size of Centivir Trifichata Robust. I have uploaded Robust uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, and they are uh, Robust are the Trifichata Robust because it's very confusing because there's a species Robusta, so we're talking about Trifichata Robust. So they are the wide green uh, a wide leaf variety of the, uh, from the compact group that's uh, robust and this is the counterpart of the pale green clone there's also a dark green clone but uh, I will save that um, discussion later for now though we are going to discuss the uh, wide leaf uh, variety of Trifichata that is belonging to the compact group and it is part of the uh, pale green clone. So there is a story uh, after which of uh, a certain cultivar that is coming from uh, Moonshines. I will be uh, discussing it on the uh, succeeding X episodes that I will be going to make. But this is some sort of a preview of uh, where uh, we are headed uh, with regards to discussing Trifichata. So we are entering the pale green clones of the compact Trifichata group. Alright, so this is how it looks like. 
that's the full uh, appearance of uh, my specimen and uh, sometimes they will not grow as big as uh, this one all right so this is the whole specimen and we will take measurements so uh, you know that uh, I'm comparing or you, you would know that I'm telling the truth that they are uh, wide leaf and they are as wide as the previous uh, feature called Centibiotra fasciata robust. So we have our tool here. It's set to zero and it is having the millimeter scale. Uh, it is the only option on this tool, so we have to convert to inch. I will not convert to centimeters anymore because uh, the significance uh, that I think is uh, important is uh, how we see inches or uh, how we are familiar with inches as the scale we can easily uh, tell uh, how many inches the leaves are um, in comparison to uh, measuring it with centimeters or millimeters but we have no choice since the tool here only uh, is having the setting of measuring in the scale of millimeters so we'll convert into inches in a bit but right now we will measure the leaf, leaf width of my moonshine so if you were having moonshine and it's not having the same measurements that I have that only means to say that your moonshine is not uh, might be mature enough for it to have very wide leaves so right now I'm measuring 80.4 the uh, widest leaf that I measure and measured in a within the trifasciatus wide leaf variety is the one that I have coined uh, Centivira trifasciata future extreme which reaches 100 millimeters this one pales in comparison it is just at 80 millimeters let's try and measure another leaf from it uh, I think this one is wider so we'll, we'll try to measure it I'm gonna uh, be quiet for a bit since I can't concentrate but there you go that, that is uh, another leaf uh, let me see if I can uh, focus it to where I'm measuring so that you would know that I'm me measuring accurately there is the measurement and I'm not um, I'm not moving it and it's measuring close to uh, 100 millimeters as well so it's 93.2 uh, I think it's very similar to the uh, measurement of the Sensivir Trifasciata Robust that I featured. So for this moonshine specimen that I have, the, lar the widest leaf that I can find on it is 93.2. That was the largest leaf from uh, 80 to 93.2. So very, very close to the Centivia Trifasciata Robust uh, but the uh, Centivia Trifasciata Future Extreme is, the wide, have, is having the widest leaf so far uh, in my record. So we have measured the uh, leaf width, we will measure the uh, leaf length or the, the height of the height of the leaf, leaves. Uh, give me a second as I uh, try to position the 24 inch ruler so that we can uh, I can uh, show you 
accurately how tall this uh, specimen is. Oh, it's not holding up. Give me one second. Okay, I think that we got it. So folks, uh, once again, uh, this is still the same uh, ruler that I'm uh, measuring all my specimens with. It's a 24 inch ruler that is equivalent to two feet. So there I have uh, position D, 24 inch ruler. And uh, like I mentioned, all the uh, compact variety, uh, I'm sorry, compact group of Centiveria, even the wide leaf varieties. They are the widest of the Centiviria, uh, Centiviria fasciata species. They do not grow more than two feet. So this is my uh, measuring scale. Uh, I'm using feet because it's easier uh, to imagine or it's easier for you to uh, figure out when I say feet rather than measuring it in centimeters or millimeters when measuring the uh, height of the trifasciata uh, leaves. So I think uh, we are um, all set for this uh, episode and uh, once again this is Sensibri Trifasciata uh, Moonshine and the next episodes would be the variegated form of moonshine. So, folks, if you like uh, the uh, discussion uh, or if you like the content, please don't forget to subscribe, to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, everyone.